This might not look much, but this is the beginning of a big project and that project is going to be an electric scooter. It's supposed to be a 20 tooth gear and not a 12 tooth gear when the one I put in the middle of the motors. I quickly found the issue and corrected it. And that gear is driving the yellow 28 tooth gear. As you can see just barely here. And that 28 tooth gear is driving two 12 tooth gears. And those are driving these green gears. And those green gears will be driving the wheels that are uh, the gears that are actually driving the wheels. The motors are driving this central shaft. All eight motors are gonna be driving the same axle. And this axle drives uh, a 20 tooth gear, which is driving this 28 tooth gear. And behind this 28 tooth gear is a 12 tooth gear. And this 12 tooth gear is driving this clutch 20 tooth gear. And finally, this 20 tooth clutch gear is the one that is gonna actually be driving the wheel. And the 24 tooth gears here at the side and more here are all gonna be supporting the wheel while it's spinning around. So the core of the wheel hub has been finished. First, uh, there are eight motors integrated inside the hub. So eight buoys motors and there's a whole gearbox inside. So we have down gearing of 20 to 28 and then 12 to 20. So around almost around three times down gearing. And not only does the wheel hub drive the scooter, the wheel of the scooter, it also has to support the weight. And the weight on the wheel hub might be more than half of that of the scooter and the rider, depending where, on where the rider, the person who's driving the scooter is standing. This is the first prototype I 3D printed and had a big problem with this weird transition here. And I think this transition uh, is also called the Benchy Hull Line. And uh, I decided to redesign the, the geometry so that there are two walls from the very beginning. And this uh, solved the issue of this uh, weird transition. But the second prototype was way too soft. And this is the final wheel with 50% infill and a nice texture to hide uh, any kind of uh, damage that might be visible when you're driving. So after a lot of effort I managed to put on the wheels and the 3D printed tires. So yes, the wheels are done. And for this one I also put a bit of a frame already on so I can actually spin the wheel. Um, it's hard to do it with one arm, but trust me, it can spin. So next thing to do is basically build the frame of the, of the model.